بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Anything is possible when you have the right people there to support you. Quote of the day. My topic of presentation is cytomegalovirus. Learning outline of my presentations. Presentation are introduction, history, epidemiological trial, chain of transmission, clinical features, level of prevention, and recent advances. At the end of this session, my colleagues would have the understanding of cytomegalovirus, its epidemiological trial, and recent advance. Cytomegalovirus introduction. Cytomegalovirus infection is a common herpes virus infection with a wide range of symptoms, from no symptoms to fever and fatigue. to severe symptoms involving the eye brain or other internal organ uh, cytomegalovirus basically belongs to herpes family there are nine types of herpes virus which have different uh, families include in the uh, herpes virus uh, herpes simplex virus 1 and 2 varicella varicella zoster virus belongs to uh herpes uh, human herpes virus 3 epstein barr virus and uh, human cytomegalus uh, which are we discussed today is belong to human herpes virus or uh, five family and um, there are other two families human herpes virus 6a and 6b and human herpes 7 uh, virus which is also known as kaposi sarcoma associated herpes virus which is a human herpes virus number 8 the herpes virus are ancient in origin and highly evolved while many virus deal with evolution passively uh, and herpes virus actively target mechanism history uh, this virus was first isolated in 1956 from two dying in fans from salivary glands and kidney with demonstration of inclusion bodies this virus are also known as salivary gland virus in 1960 weller et al proposed the name cytomegalovirus and this virus isolated from renal transplant patient in 1965 problem statement in the united states nearly 1 in 3 children are already infected with cytomegalovirus under the age 5 over half of adults have been infected with cytomegalovirus by age 40 once cytomegalovirus is in a person body it stay there for life and can reactivate a person can also be reinfected with a different strain of virus most people with cytomegalovirus infection have no symptom and are not aware that they have been infected now we discuss epidemiological trial which consists of three components host agent and environment agent cytomegalovirus basically belongs to beta herpes virus type 5 the largest in herpes virus it is double stranded dna enveloped virus nucleocapsid 10 5 nanometer in diameter and 162 capsomere host age cytomegalovirus infects people in all ages over half of adults have been infected with cytomegalovirus by age 40 equal uh, equal gender it is equally infected both gender and there is no as uh, as such lifelong immunity and in pregnancy there is a vertical transmission and it can leads to congenital cytomegalovirus body fluids such as saliva urine semen blood and breast milk are the source of this virus mode of transmission it is transmitted via saliva sexual contact placental transfer breast feeding blood transfusion solid organ transplantation and hematopoietic stem cell transfer incubation period is 4 to 8 weeks clinical features the patient of the cytomegalovirus infection present with fever sore throat fatigue swollen gland 
Occasionally, cytomegalo virus can cause uh, mononucleosis or hepatitis. People with weakened immune system who get cytomegalo virus can have more serious symptoms affecting the eyes, lung, liver, esophagus, stomach, and intestine. Cytomegalo virus disease in immunocompromised patient. In this table, there are different complications uh, are shown which are developed in the immunocompromised patient like neonate, solid organ transplant, Her transplant and AIDS patient. These all are immunocompromised and these are the complications which is developed in these patients, fever or hepatitis, gastrointestinal symptom, retinitis, encephalopathy, deafness, Edison symptom, graft rejection, atherosclerosis and death. Congenital infection. Congenital infection defined as the isolation of cytomegalovirus from the saliva or urine within three weeks of birth. Commonest congenital virus infection affect 0 0.3 to 1% of all live birth. It is the second most common cause of mental handicap after Down syndrome and is responsible for more cases of congenital damage than rubella. These are the clinical features of congenital cytomegalovirus infection. The babies, the newly born babies, uh, show the sign and symptom of hepatosplenomegaly, chorioretinitis, jaundice, fatigue, purpura, small size for gestational age, and microcephaly. Congenital cytomegalus. This is one of the article in which uh, uh, newborn babies and uh, the sign and symptom of newborn babies are observed and only children of mothers with primary infection during pregnancy had symptoms of congenital cytomegalovirus infection and the major sign uh, sign which are developed in these newborn babies are jaundice and these are the clinical findings um, in the first month of life in 24 newborn with symptomatic cytomegalovirus infection after a primary maternal infection and jaundice is the main problem which is happening in, the, in these children. Cytomegalovirus infection, these are the source and it is uh, vertical transmission of this virus is present. And mostly uh, child which are born are asymptomatic and most of them are asymptomatic. And symptoms which are produced are intrauterine growth retardation, retinitis, microcephaly, jaundice, and hepatosplenomegaly. And the permanent damage which occur are, is mental retardation, deafness, blindness, and death is in 20%. The silent global burden of congenital cytomegalovirus. Human cytomegalus is a leading cause of congenital infection worldwide. In the developed world, the viral elimination of circulating, it is the commonest non-genetic childhood hearing loss and neurodevelopmental delay after the rubella infection. The seroprevalence of cytomegalovirus in adults and the incidence of Congenital cytomegalovirus infection are highest in developing countries, 1 to 5% of birth, and are most likely driven by non primary maternal infection. But there are no as such data is present in the, uh, de from the developing countries. Complication retinitis is the main complication, colitis, osophagitis, hepatitis, encephalitis, and pneumonia. Now comes the level of prevention. We have three levels of prevention, primary, secondary, and tertiary. First, we discuss primary level of prevention. In primary prevention, we can promote two, uh, we can discuss two parameters, health promotion and specific protection, health promotion. We can educate the people about wash your hands, avoid contact with tear and saliva. When you kiss a child, avoid sharing food or drinking out of the same glass or others. Be careful with disposable items, clean toys and counterparts, and practice safe sex. Cytomegalovirus basically is preventable, and these all are preventive measures which are we taken. And 
specific protection there is a vaccine but yet there is a no license vaccine is available there is a candidate live attenuated vaccine known as the tovin strain but there are concern about administrating a live vaccine and it is in the phase 3 trial this vaccine prevention of cytomegalovirus disease in transplant recipient is a very complicated subject and varies from center to center it may include the following measures in transplant patient we screen and matching the cytomegalovirus status of the donor and recipient and use of cytomegalovirus negative blood for trans transfusions administration of cytomegalovirus immunoglobulin to zero negative recipient prior to transplant and give antiviral agent such as acyclovir and gencyclovir prophylactically in a transplant patient now comes the secondary prevention in secondary prevention there is early diagnosis and prompt treatment how we can diagnose cytomegalovirus we can diagnose the cytomegalovirus by a quantitative cytomegalovirus dna by pcr a uh, diagnostic and qualitative cytomegalovirus dna detection by pcr is extremely sensitive uh, in tissue culture there is a delayed diagnosis in tissue culture serum cytomegalovirus igm igg antibodies this test is good for screening histopathology uh, the result is uh, delay the diagnosis and inadequate uh, specimen selection is occur in histopathology test treatment we can treat with full dose iv gencyclovir or oral uh, gencyclovir vector trial monitor cytomegalovirus viral load or antigenemia once weekly while on therapy generally continue the treatment until it is undetectable may consider at 1 to 3 month course of secondary prophylaxis after completion of treatment cytomegalovirus infection in the transplant recipient cytomegalovirus is a multifaceted phenomena with a variety of direct and indirect effects in organ transplant cytomegalovirus can disseminate to various organ and it can lead to death and multi organ failure what are the symptoms which is present in transplant patient fever arthralgia pneumonia gi ulcer hepatitis and multi organ disease prevention strategies to minimize the clinical burden of cytomegalovirus in transplant recipient long term success of transplant recipient require an interdisciplinary approach that includes all healthcare providers involved in the management of these patient to prevent and treat cytomegalovirus therefore this condition this continuing medical education activity activity targets id clinician involved cytomegalovirus remain a significant pathogen in certain patient transplant recipient are at exceptional risk and cytomegalovirus infection can lead to myelo suppression tissue invasive disease graft rejection failure and development of other opportunistic infection long term clinical success require effective prevention and treatment of cytomegalovirus prevention can be accomplished through antiviral prophylaxis or preemptive approach the development of advanced diagnostic tools along with newer antiviral agent have the potential to improve protection against cytomegalovirus to improve patient outcome an interdisciplinary approach involve physician pharmacists microbiologists nurses and allied healthcare provider is needed to contribute at all stages of patient care this activity review the latest clinical evidence on the diagnosis monitoring and prevention of cytomegalovirus infection and diseases these are the references of my presentation now come the mcq session the cytomegalovirus belongs to which family of herpes virus
correct answer the most common viral infection after solid or b not to me sorry The most common initial manifestation in congenital cytokinetic virus in children. A. Correct answer. A. The virus was isolated in. 62. No. A. 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 1966. Which virus are also known as ligand virus? The cytokinetic virus is. Double standard RNA. C is correct answer. Double standard DNA virus. When isolated from renal transplant patients. Correct answer. Correct answer. Sixty-five. Isolation of cytokinetic virus from saliva and urine of infected newborn within one week, within two week, within three week, and within four week. Within three week. C is correct answer. This is the key of the MCQs. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Naila. Uh, this is a very good presentation on human herpes uh, virus type or cytomegalovirus. Everyone, please mute your mic. Right. Okay. Then uh, my uh, first question is from Dr. Naila. That uh, please uh, let me know what is the role of breastfeeding uh, in uh, the spread of the cytomegalovirus. Anybody from the class who can comment on the role of the breastfeeding in the spread of the cytomegalovirus infection? Cytomegal the main spread of cytomegalovirus is different secretions of body. So breast milk are also included. So what uh, should be the prevention of uh, such mother who is breastfeeding the child and uh, who is having the cytomegalovirus infection? As we know, cytomegalovirus is a very common virus. And we also know that once infected, the human body retains the virus for the whole life. Especially the, those women who are pregnant and uh, those people who are immunocompromised, they can have a severe disease and lethal complication. So we must uh, have the most important preventive strategies for pregnant women as well as for breastfeeding their children. Uh, all those uh, who are breastfeeding their children. So the, for the breastfeeding uh, mothers, it is necessary that if they are diagnosed with the cytomegalovirus, they must have the antiviral therapy because uh, the breastfeeding uh, may cause the cytomegalovirus to be transmitted to the infant. As we know, the tater is spread by the saliva, urine, semen, vaginal fluids, blood, etc. So the breastfeeding practices must be the same practices. Antiviral therapy is uh, required for the prevention of uh, the child and the breastfeeding should be discontinued. Okay, my next question is what about the vaccine of cytomegalovirus? There is no as such established vaccine of the cytomegalovirus. Uh, Very the right. Vaccine is in phase three trial. Okay, very rightly said. Uh, experimental vaccines are being studied and yet we don't have any vaccine that is available. So how we can prevent it? By the antiviral treatment, that is the mainstay of the treatment as well as for secondary prevention. We know the severe diseases like retinitis, hepatitis, colitis, pneumonia, and encephalitis. 
they required specific treatments so secondary prevention and tertiary prevention they have a major role in the prevention of cytomegalovirus and there is no vaccine that is available till day after uh, this primary infection that is usually asymptomatic this group of virus remain dormant in these cells for life and this is called latent infection however this latent infection can react reactive uh, later in the life my last question is what is heterophile negative mononucleosis dr naila please ji uh, ma'am what is heterophile negative mononucleosis ma'am samajh nahi aayi what is heterophile negative mononucleosis i am also writing in the chat box you can uh, read it from there heterophile negative mononucleosis no idea okay uh, this uh, heterophile negative mononucleosis it is the name of the cytomegalovirus disease we call it also as the disease of human herpes virus 5 we also call it as a disease of cytomegalovirus and we also call it as heterophile negative mononucleosis why we call it heterophile negative mononucleosis because it causes an illness that results in heterophile antibody test that is negative the heterophile negative mononucleosis is positive in the case of epstein barr virus that is also called kissing disease or glandular fever so the disease caused by epstein barr virus it is leading to heterophile positive mononucleosis the cytomegalovirus it is causing heterophile negative mononucleosis both are both these viruses are in the same group okay ma'am okay ma'am Right. The, uh, the latest research advances. You have presented it very well. However, I want more research has to be presented because the cytomegalovirus it is causing a lot of uh, latest evidence, especially in infants and in congenital cytomegalovirus infections. We know that uh, all those infants who have congenital cytomegalovirus, only one to seven percent are the mothers who are being infected by cytomegalovirus. for the first time 30% of these mothers they are actually the reactivated cases of cytomegalovirus as we know that cytomegalovirus is usually asymptomatic in the primary infection however this group of viruses remain dormant in these cells for life so these women can become pregnant and can transfer it to their children their infants all those infants that are born to the mothers who are having cytomegalovirus positivity it is found that only 10 to 15% babies have symptoms at birth however the 60% of the serious complications of cytomegalovirus they occur later in the life of those children the cytomegalovirus is a disease where the evidence and research is coming up with more and more prevention and we still know that the secondary and tertiary prevention of this disease it is uh, more beneficial than anything else the severe disease and the lethal complications can even lead to the mortality increased mortality in the infants and this is one of uh, the disease that is causing lot of lethal complications here i stop if you have any question you may ask please thank you ma'am thank you ma'am okay thank you allah hafiz khuda hafiz